In 500 BC, 10 super powered Eternals Ajax, Circe, Icarus, Kingo, Sprite, Fastos, Macari, Druid, Gilgamesh, and Athena are sent by the celestial Eris Hem to Earth on their starship to exterminate the invasive deviants. The last deviants are apparently killed in the 1500s when the group's opinions differ over their continued responsibilities and relationship with humankind. Over the next 500 years, they mostly live apart waiting for Arashim to tell them that they can leave in the present-day Circe and Sprite live together in London after Circe's partner Icarus left her centuries earlier. She is now in a relationship with human Dane Whitman who works at the Natural History Museum. The trio are attacked by the Deviant Crow with Icarus arriving and chasing the creature away concerned that the Deviants have returned the three Eternals traveled to South Dakota to reunite with their leader Ajak only to find her dead Circe is posthumously chosen by Ajak as her successor, granting her the ability to communicate with Arishem. Circe contacts Arashem and learns that the mission of the Eternals was not to fight the Deviants, but to prepare Earth for the emergence. Arishem explains that for millions of years, he has been planting the seeds of celestials inside planets where the energy from large populations allows the celestials to be born. The Deviants were sent to destroy the apex predators of each planet to ensure the development of intelligent life, but when the deviants evolved and began hunting the planet's native populations Arisham created the Eternals to hunt them in turn with the reversal of the blip Earth has reached the necessary population for the birth of the celestial Tiamat, which will result in Earth's destruction, hoping to delay the emergence the group reunites with the other Eternals at Druid's residence in the Amazon rainforest, they are attacked by the deviants and kill all of them except Crow who kills Gilgamesh before fleeing Fastos proposes the Unimind A connection between all the Eternals that would give Druid enough power to put Tiamat to sleep with his mind control powers, however Icarus reveals that Ajak told him of the emergence centuries before when Ajax suggested to him six days earlier that they tried to stop the emergence he led her to the Deviants and not wanting to betray Arashim let them kill her sprite joins Icarus due to her unrequited love for him while Kingo chooses to leave as he does not wish to stop Tiamat's birth or fight his teammates. Makari locates the place of the emergence an active volcano in the Indian Ocean where Icarus and Sprite attempt to stop them Druid knocks out Sprite and Fastos restrains Icarus while Crow arrives and is killed by Thena Druig is unable to put Tiamat to sleep and Circe instead attempts to turn him into marble Icarus breaks free of his restraints and goes to kill Circe but finds himself unable to do to his love for her both he and Sprite. Join with the others in the uni mind and Circe gains enough power to turn Tiamat into marble guilt ridden Icarus flies into the sun at Sprite's request Circe uses the remaining energy from the Uniman to turn Sprite into a human ending her permanent childlike state Athena Druid and Makari depart on the team's ship to find Eternals on other planets and warn them of the emergences while Circe Fastos and Kingo remain on Earth Dane professes his love for Circe and is about to reveal a secret about his family history when she Fastos and Kingo are dragged into space by Arashim, displeased with their treason Arashim, says he will spare humanity if the Eternals' memories show that humans are worthy of living vowing to return for judgment he takes the trio with him into a singularity in a mid credit scene Thina Makari and Druid meet the Eternal Eros Thanos's brother and his assistant Pip the Troll who offer their help in a post credit scene Dane opens a case containing the ebony blade, and an unseen person questions whether he is ready for it. 